Hi Go Discover fans. In this video, uh, what I'm going to do is replace um, one of the, the, the servos in the wing here, the Go Discover. I had a crash and um, damaged the damaged the wing a little bit, which I've now repaired with um, hot glue. So hopefully that's okay. Um, actually, replacement wings from Hobby King are not that expensive, but this wasn't damaged so much, so I just decided to to fix it. But the servo here is is jammed, so it's not um, yeah, that's not going to work. So we need to replace that. So this episode is about how to replace the uh, uh, the, the servo in here. Um, so what we need to do first of all is cut cut into the careful on this bit here because this is where the cable goes. So cut into the sticker. We'll take a flat-headed screwdriver and just try and pry it up a little bit. And the other wing that I repaired didn't actually have so much glue, so I need to just pry this open. There we go. So here's the servo uh, in there um, that's that's damaged. Now the wire here, and it's quite a long wire. I'm not sure because this is not the kit version that I bought. This was the PNF version. Um, so I don't know if there's an extension cable in here or not, but I don't really want to cut into this surface. So what I'm going to do is just take this uh, this servo out and uh, make um, a connector in here. So first of all, I'm going to unplug this, disconnect that, take that out, put that to one side, and then I'm going to try and force out the servo without making too much damage. And this is just glued in with some foam safe glue, I think, and not too much of it. Looks a bit brutal, I know, but... We have to try to get it out somehow. So there we go, that's the servo out. And it's not too bad in there, we'll be able to glue in another servo. But this is, this is completely finished. So what I'll do, I'll just take a knife here, very carefully just score the, the sticker. So we can pull the cable out a little bit just a little bit so that we can work with it and then what I'm going to do is just snip this is a damaged servo so I don't really care that's just going to go in the bin I might save the control ho the the um, yeah the arm servo arm and so on and the screw for later but otherwise that's pretty finished now what I'll do is I'll take this um, this metal gear servo uh, it's an Emacs servo ES08MA. Uh, it's an analog met, uh, metal gear servo, uh, 9 gram, and I'll put that in its place uh, uh, here. And uh, it'll be this way. Um, but what I want to do is I don't want to thread all the wire back through and everything. So what I've done before is I have uh, cut out a section here where I can uh, put a, a servo extension cable. So what I'll actually do is I'll put a, a, a female connector on here so it will look like this, it'll be one of these ones. And I'll connect that in here and I'll, I'll just dig out the foam so I can lay that in place. And then I'll take this original connector here and I will uh, wrap the wire around making sure that it's not going to interfere with the, the, the actual mechanics and plug that in. The benefit of doing that is that if I have an accident again and I damage this servo then I don't have to think about modifying and everything and so on. I, I can just uh, replace that in and I've dug out the foam so that it can fit again. So I'll just go ahead and do that and we'll do that in a bit fast forward. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's the um, the connectors crimped on there, and if I remember rightly, in uh, in these ones you'll see a, a cutout, and that's where the um, the signal pin goes, the the yellow one. So we need to make sure that when we connect in this connector, that's going to be the yellow connector. So we'll put that in there. And these tabs here, they just click. Red one always goes in the middle. And then the brown one is going to go here. And then we just press down with our nail, press all those tabs into place. And that should be secure. So there we go. And then this part uh, is going to go on and click into place. There we go. So now we've made uh, an extension cable that we're going to place in here somewhere. I have to dig the foam down a little bit. Yep. So let's make sure that we have the servo in the right place. And um, the servo, let's say if you're looking at it like this, then um, this part is going to go towards the front of the wing. So if you're using, if you're doing it on the other wing, it will make sure that this part goes to the front of the wing. So I'll just put it in there loosely for now, and then we'll figure out where we're going to run the wire. Probably run the wire up here and curl it around here I think yeah and then I think we'll have the connector sit there so we're just gonna dig down this area a little bit now you can do that with a craft knife uh, and just cut cut into here there is a carbon fiber spar in there so you can't go too deep so we'll just cut out a channel there just coil it around as best I can Like so, take this connector. This wire will have to go here underneath the sticker. And Bob's your uncle. So that's what I'm looking to do here. So now you see that the wire's gone underneath that connector. That's kind of secure. And that's a whole servo cable that you would typically get with a 9 gram servo. So I haven't had to do, do so much. Uh, yeah, I won't need to do so much rewiring there. Now, um, I don't know if this servo is centered. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to plug this uh, cable into my receiver, into the, the correct channel. And I'll just uh, wiggle the, the stick on my transmitter just to make sure that that's centered. And what I will do is here are the control horns that I have available to me in this packet. I'll just rip it open. So let's see here. Now what I will do is I'll take this one and I will take the screw to hold it in place. These other ones I won't need so I'll leave them off to the side. So those those two items there I'll put on. So I'll just go and adjust the um, servo to make sure it's centered. Just plug it into my receiver as I say 
and uh, then I'll be back. Right, so now I've centered the servo by plugging um, plug in the servo into my receiver and I'm going to put the control, not the control hole, but the servo arm on and now I need to just screw in this screw so that's now in there, ready to go and like so there we go now this servo here is a little bit shorter than the other and this is quite a, quite a wider distance here so what I need to do is just cut a, just a slight section out of the foam there just so that when I put the the, the arm in it doesn't uh, scratch up against there so I'll just take a craft knife and do that right so that that will fit in there no problem and that won't uh, fouled up there. Um, so now this is let's do it this way. Now this is ready to glue into place. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just charge up my hot glue gun and uh, uh, we'll come and we'll just glue this uh, glue this down now. Right so glue gun is charged and what we're going to do now is just put a good blob of hot glue in here more towards this side than where it's going to be a control so yeah good good blob in here that'll do put that to one side and quickly make sure i put it in the right way squeeze that down and just hold that in place for a few seconds just to make sure that the glue binds that should be fine and what we want to do is just make sure that no glue came in this area here where the the um, servo arm is and we can also check here as well to make sure that there's no glue spillage there so that's fine so that's now in place okay and I know I've made a mistake already, I should have done this much earlier, <laughs> but uh, anyway I have to do it now. Uh, so we need to fit this back in, but my mistake is that I haven't drilled the top hole here, so I won't be able to fit that through. So I should have done that before, uh, so I'll go and get a drill and... Uh, uh, and fix that. So I just take my drill. I should have done this before. I should have uh, taken it while I had it in my hand and then just uh, drilled the hole. So if you're watching this video, uh, do that before you make a mis you you glue it in place. But there is enough room anyway, and I just uh, drilled through there a little bit. So on the, in the top hole. Uh, so what that allows me to then do is um, put this control horn through there like so and then I'll be able to fit it back in here like so so that is now fitted sounds good and so then to repair the stickers here, so what I do is I take a flat headed screwdriver and I just push the cable down a little bit more into the groove, into the groove, and then I'll lift this sticker up a little bit. Um, there we go. So now we'll take this plate and we'll put that back on so that fits snug. And then what we'll do is just get some black tape. So this is just some black electrical tape. Um, and we will cut some pieces here to 
stick this back down securely. And I mean, when this is in the air, you're not going to see that black tape anymore. So you're not going to tell the difference between the actual sticker and the black tape. So there we go. You can also use um, just clear sticky tape, so we can just get some of that for for the last part here. Or you can glue it back down, but if you need to get in at the servo again, then um, you'll have to damage it again, perhaps. So, and then we'll just protect the wire. So, there we go. Uh, servo is now replaced. It's a Metal Gear servo, so it's going to be better than we had before. And uh, we'll just need to make sure uh, in our uh, setup that this servo actually reacts the same way um, as the last one did. Uh, we might need to reverse a channel or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Let's just have a check before we throw it in the air and expect it to be the same. So, hope, uh, hope that was of use for you and uh, all the best. Cheers.